Hey guys, uh, this is sort of a account update. I also want to talk a little bit about my garden. Uh, you have to excuse the background noise. Uh, it's kind of nice out, it's the afternoon. Uh, down the road a little bit, someone's just chopping up some wood chainsaw. So if you happen to hear something, that's what it is. Uh, anyway, I apologize for the lack of videos lately. Um, actually, kind of a long story, but first I, I slipped about a week ago uh, by my front door. The floor was a little wet and it was raining out. And I have tile uh, when you first walk into my house. So it was slippery. I came down a stairwell and I slipped on tile and fell and hurt my neck. Uh, not a big deal. I mean, it was very, very stiff, very uncomfortable for a while, but it's starting to heal. Uh, however, <laughs> uh, Saturday, um, I actually uh, accidentally poked myself in the eye with something. It was pretty stupid, but I was doing something with the spring and uh, jumped up, hit me right in the eye. Mostly because uh, my neck was hurting. I didn't want to put my head down because it was hurting my neck. So I was kind of doing something without looking at it, and the spring just shot right up and hit me right in the eyeball. Um, so my eye's been kind of messed up. It kind of scratched my uh, cornea. Um, so, I've, you know, I've had some uh, some time to do videos, but I you know, kind of didn't feel like it, you know. And, uh, again, just it hurts my eye to keep it open and things like that. So, anyway, I just want to give you a quick little explanation why, uh, you know, I haven't been making any videos lately. Uh, however, it's a beautiful day out today, and even though my eye is still kind of messed up, uh, I thought I'd come out and show you a little bit of the garden here and tell you my plans for this year. I will have another garden series. <clears throat> um, you know, as soon as uh, I start doing different things with it, of course, I will uh, talk about the different steps. Um, as far as my this being a count update, I'll tell you, I will have new knife reviews very soon. Uh, I have not forgotten about knives, trust me. Um, definitely have that Santa Fonte 3 video soon. I have carried it for a little over two and a half weeks now. Um, and then I was also interchanging with another knife. Uh, so I'll have a review on that uh, as soon as possible. I will also have a review on another Buck Bantam, uh, which I happen to get in my hands. I don't think I reviewed the, the last one I kind of talked about. I gave one away with my, uh, my first contest, uh, but I don't think I did a review on it. So I'll do a review on that. Uh, as well as I'm still waiting for the uh, Benjamin Model 42 trade. Uh, I kind of fell through for a little bit, and then the person I'm doing the trade with is interested again. So kind of going back and forth. We'll see about that. But... If that goes through, I'll have uh, three new knives to show you guys as well. Um, right now, I just want to talk a little bit about the garden. Uh, got the tripod here, but let me bring it up. You can see I cleaned it out just a little bit. I mean, not much. Just did some real basic raking here and uh, took a lot of the crap out. I still have to get all those leaves out of the side there. Uh, but just cleaning up a little bit. Uh, took all the old tags from last year, the little markers, things like that. If you watched my series last year, um, the only thing that really, really, in my area, that really just took off and did excellent were the cherry tomatoes. Um, I did uh, some eggplant, bell peppers, and they, they really didn't do that well. Um, probably because I started a little bit early in the season. We had a couple, a couple cold nights that uh, weren't very good for them. But uh, anyway, this year uh, I decided to go back with the cherries. And actually, you can see I have a bed on the left there and a raised bed on the right. And what I'm going to do is I actually already ordered a bunch of different plants. I'm not going to start them from seed because <clears throat> I just want to take advantage of the, you know, as much time as I possibly can. But I actually gonna, I'm going to have four different kinds of uh, cherry tomato plants. And I'm going to have two of each. So I'll uh, bear plenty of uh, cherry tomatoes this year. You know, not, not just eating them fresh off the, uh, the vine there, but also I can cook with them, do kind of sauces if I want. So I'll have uh, a plenty, a steady flow of them. In other words, last year I did very, very good. Uh, what I actually picked up um, last year, the plants kind of fell to the side here. If I can show you, um, I put the plant right on the very corner of that bed, and it got a little top heavy and it kind of leaned against the fence there, which was fine. I used the fence for support. The problem is the reason I have this fence is because I have so much deer in my area. So having the uh, cherry tomatoes leaning <laughs> right next to the fence for the deer to come up and kind of, you know, uh, pick off the right off the uh, the plant there. It kind of defeats the whole pur purpose of having the fence in the first place. So I thought about doing um, some tomato cages, but I think they're kind of overkill. What I actually got recently, I got these from uh, Home Depot. These are eight foot long. It's a package of, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six of them. They're eight feet long and they're just bamboo. It's kind of hard. Let me start, rip the package open a little. You can see that better. But they're just bamboo rods, approximately a quarter inch thick. Very, very strong. I'm actually going to cut these in half. And I'll use these once the plants are in. As they get bigger, I'll have, uh, 
you know, eight, four foot tall um, bamboo rods I can use for support. And I'll just use a zip tie on it or something, you know, very loosely uh, fitted on there so it has room to grow. So that hopefully will work for my support. As far as uh, dirt and filling this back up with uh, dirt, my beds, what I did last year was I used a bunch of uh, dirt in the area. We have like kind of a, a fill where they drop off a bunch of different, uh, you know, different combination of dirts from the area when they dig holes and things like that in my uh, community. And our soil where I live in the Poconos in northeast Pennsylvania, it's extremely, extremely rocky. Um, not all that great for growing much of anything, to be honest. So what I'm going to do is the, between the soil last year, I got a couple bags of the topsoil. Uh, I got this this year. This is a bag of miracle Grow. This is an organic uh, potting soil. This fills uh, two eight, eight quart containers. This is only four bucks. I'm just going to mix this in with the dirt that I have there, as well as this. This is a bag of miracle Grow perlite. Now perlite is the little white beads you see in potting soil. And if you ever wonder what that is, that's what it is, it's perlite. And the whole purpose of what this does is uh, when your soil gets wet, the perlite kind of soaks it up. And what happens is not only does it retain the water for your plants to use later, but it also aerates the, the uh, soil. Okay, what happens is if you get very thick, rich soil um, and it gets very, very wet, you can't get any oxygen to the roots. And without the oxygen, you know, the plants won't grow properly. So not only does it help with the moisture in the ground, but um, it also uh, aerates the whole the whole soil. So it's very, very good for growth. I got a big old bag of this. This was also four bucks. Um, the bamboo rods were only two dollars. So for 10 bucks, I'll be all set up. Uh, and when my plants come, I'll be ready to plant them all. So that's pretty much it. I also want to show you too is last year, you can see in there, those three different pots had uh, strawberries in them. And you can see all the greenage on there. I kind of cleaned them up a little bit. I have to go back and still pick out the dead stuff. But you can see my strawberries are actually coming back. And I didn't realize that they do come back the following year. They were, you know, the buckets were out here. They're all dried up and dead last year. Um, as far as the bugs, I had a, a problem with Japanese beetles, so I didn't get too many strawberries. What I've also noticed is that if you look here on the ground, they kind of spilled over. It's hard to see with the sunlight there, but they're all growing on the ground now as well. So I'll probably just leave those there. If I get strawberries, you know, it's good. If I don't, no big deal. One thing that I did order with my plants, which is kind of interesting, are I got a case of praying mantis eggs. Um, so hopefully I'll hatch some praying mantises. Uh, they're very, very good for your garden because they eat tons and tons of bugs. The one problem is that if you, if you have bugs in your garden that are good, they will also eat the good bugs. I mean, some bugs help your plants. So it's kind of like a, you know, it's not entirely good but for my purpose and what I'm doing with my garden it's gonna be perfect um, and it's not that much for eight bucks you get something like 300 eggs I mean obviously they don't all hatch you know but um, you know I'm actually sharing that with uh, my boss so you know she, she does a big garden thing too so uh, I don't know that'd be kind of cool if I get one growing of course I'll I'll show you them <laughs> uh, so just an interesting thing I'm kind of experimenting with this year so in future um, future garden videos I'll go over of course my get plants what I got what I'm going to grow this year but mainly it's going to be the cherry tomatoes uh, I will do a couple different herbs I'm actually grow going to grow a couple different teas this year um, and I have a couple interesting uh, surprises when that when the time comes but anyway like I said just wanted to show you the garden real quick definitely we'll have a new series this year on this kind of stuff uh, if you're not interested not a problem I'll have plenty of other videos again more knife reviews Hopefully, because the weather's getting nice, uh, I'll have plenty of new bushcraft videos, which are going to be cool. Uh, a lot of fun stuff like that, fire starting and survival things. Um, let's see, what else? Of course, I'll have new gun stuff. Um, but that'll probably trickle down a little bit, only because of the fact that I can't, can't afford to keep buying ammunition. I will eventually uh, get into reloading my own ammo, but uh, that's kind of an initial cost, and... I don't really want to invest in that right now. I don't, I don't shoot enough to really need to reload my own ammo, but eventually I will. So I'll look into that down the road. But uh, anyway, I wanted to give you an update and kind of explain again why. I've kind of been uh, quiet. I haven't put out a lot of videos. My eyes just kind of messed up. So hopefully that heals very soon, and I'll get you those uh, knife reviews. So stick around. Enjoy the videos. I thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.